This CES special of Hack 5 is brought to you by Gazelle, the fastest and easiest way to sell and recycle your gadgets. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen at CES 2011, checking out iTwin. Luke, how's it going, man? Hi, Darren. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's going well. So tell me about iTwin. What is this? Because I see hardware, I see VPNs. This is really confusing. OK, uh, it looks like a USB flash drive. You can think of it as an infinite capacity USB flash drive on broadband. So basically, you take this, which is USB, stick it to the USB port of any online Windows computer, and it pairs. What does that mean? It means the two, pair, the two halves of iTwin form an encryption key that only the two halves of iTwin know. So that's a 256-bit AES encryption key. You then break off one half of iTwin, leaving the other one in, and you take this with you. Now, on this half in your computer, you can share files, drag and drop, just like a USB flash drive, as many, any number or size of files, as many as you want, gigabytes, terabytes, you name it. You leave it in. You then go anywhere in the world. We'll say you go to Spain. You wander around to your old auntie's computer. You stick it in the computer. You now have access to those files. You can copy them. You can remotely edit them. Or you can, from the computer you're sitting at, back up the files to your original computer with the other half of iTwin. So now, is it only for sharing files, or does it create an actual VPN tunnel where you can do, say, for example, uh, if I wanted to play uh, a video game with my uh, with my camera girl here in Toronto, could she put hers in and uh, in her computer in Toronto? Could I put mine in my computer in San Francisco, and could we play like some LAN games over it? Today, we don't support VPN tunnel today. We do have fully encrypted AES 256-bit that goes over HTTPS. So you'll be able to access all her, her files if she shares them. She'll be able to access all yours. You'll be able to remotely edit. And you can both edit the same file at the same time. We're also about to support media streaming. So you can listen to music on her computer from yours, watch movies on her computer from yours, and vice versa. Okay. Now, what kind of operating systems am I going to need to use this? Today, we support Windows 7, Windows Vista, uh, Windows XP, uh, various Windows Server. Uh, this summer we're supporting Mac OS X. Now, if you're running Mac OS X today, but you've got Fusion or Parallels or Boot Camp or anything else with a Windows session inside that, then iTwin will also support that. Any plans for Linux in the future? Uh, good question. Sometime maybe in 2011. We're getting a lot of requests for, for Mac, so that's what we're going to focus on initially, and then look at uh, Linux maybe thereafter. So what kind of technology is this based on? Are you using something like OpenVPN? Is this proprietary in-house stuff? This uh, is currently proprietary in-house stuff. Uh, it's got great ways of punching through firewalls. So you know uh, you don't have to configure or worry about ports or anything like that. All you do is this plug and play. You plug it in, and it finds a way. So long as you can use Gmail uh, over HTTPS or buy stuff on Amazon.com, then you can use it. So is there a th do you guys host a third-party server that the files go through? Uh, we have an authentication server that we that is hosted first by Amazon Web Services, just to make sure that both halves are the same iTwin and they're genuinely iTwin devices. And after that, we drop it, and where possible, we allow a peer-to-peer -peer connection. The data, as soon as it leaves the computer, is AES two five six bit encrypted, so nobody can read it. We can't read it. Nobody else can. Read it. Okay, and is it uh, only for two computers, or can you have uh, a, a, a three uh, <laughs> a three way? Uh, great question. Right now, it's one-to-one uh, -one access, uh, two halves of an iTwin, both paired with the same iTwin. Very soon, we're rolling out a software upgrade so that if you have a USB hub with, say, five halves or ten halves of an iTwin in it, and then the other ten halves can be out and about, say, your sales team, and they can all access the server in the office through iTwin. And what's the price point on this? We're launching today, January 6th in the US, uh, 2011, for a price point of 99 US dollars, available on iTwin.com. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. For continued coverage of all things CES, check out revision3.com slash CES. Gazelle accepts more than 300,000 products from over 20 different electronics categories. Got your eye on one of the new products over here at CES? Gazelle can get you money for your old gear when you upgrade. Shipping is free on all items of value, and in most cases, they'll even send you a box to ship with. Also, for you green folks out there, Gazelle makes all of their recycling partners adhere to some strict policies. There's no exports, no landfill policies, and tons and tons of data security standards. Whether you're upgrading to a new iPhone, a new Android device, or other tech gear, Gazelle is a great way to get cash to upgrade to the latest tech.